When Wes Streeting says, I think the BMA does doctors no favour when they vote for motions that look like they're living on a different planet, how do you respond? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, I think it's important to acknowledge um, Mr Streeting as being a patient and the experience he has had is very poor. And as a GP, I, I do sadly recognise this because we've got 1.6 million people in a similar position to him waiting for investigations. And of course, doctors want better standards for patients. And if there's any hostility from the profession, then it's not, not at a call for better standards, but it's at these hollow sound bites from politicians. <laughs> it shows a lack of understanding of the problems. Basically, the biggest asset we have in the NHS is is our staff. And for years, the service has been run on goodwill and it's running out. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the nine to five motion, which he talks about, was raised by GPs because we are on our knees. We have, I think, nearly 2,000 fewer GPs than we had in 2015. We've got, we're dealing with more patients, more complex problems. GPs are seeing all the people who are on waiting lists, 7 million well, of them. Well, they're not, are they? Well, the, the, we are. You're seeing we're, fewer we're... people than pre-pandemic. <laughs> as, in phys physically, right. as in physically seeing them. Physically seven seeing million, them. 7 million GP appointments, the, the latest figures for yeah, October. Yeah, okay, short, many of which per, are per delivered via, via telephone or video. But if that works, it works. We're, we're well, seeing it doesn't those ones, for everybody, well, those does ones, it? Those ones aren't included in those figures. But you know as well million. as I do. If, well, you don't know, I'm so sorry. But were I to ring my surgery, there's no way I'll get to see them this week. No way on earth, because I live in well, a fairly busy part of London. And, we're not... Sorry, go on. No, I, and I was going to say, and I'm just one of many, as I know from my listeners, in many and big I, cities who have real trouble getting to see their doctors. And I fully agree. We, we're all going to end up as patients one day and we all want the system to be better. And we agree, it isn't better. But the solutions we are looking for, we're burnt out. We have got less GPs. But why would you want to cut courses. core hours, nine to five, as, as we're streeting highlights? So because we're dealing with 12-hour days, we have a lot of unseen work. As I was well, saying before, well, let me finish. We've got 7 million GP appointments taking place per week, which doesn't include Many by video consults, link and telephone. Which doesn't, those stats don't include those figures. It includes You're the face-to-face 7 face million face-to-face. -face. Appointments. <sighs> appointments per week, which are documented. So e-consults, text, teleconsults aren't included in those figures. We've got paperwork, unseen work. Reducing the core hours to 9 to 5 will try and encourage continuity. But encourage what about people who are sick who want to see their doctor? So GP isn't an emergency service. It never has been. And if they're sick, they will see the doctor. You contact us and we will see you. As I said, if you look after <sighs> staff, staff will look after patients. And politicians need to work with us rather than working against us. All right, grateful for your time. Dr Ellen Welsh, you co-chair the Doctors' Association in the UK.